going to the prison child hall is a horrible experience because you're already on the way there to eat some horrible food that's going to potentially make you sick physically and maybe even mentally but that's a whole nother discussion where i was at on sussex too you would get a call for child you would have approximately one minute to two tops to get out that door if you don't get out that door on time oh well you will starve because you're gonna sit in that dorm you are not going to child that's first and foremost i don't care if you was oversleeping on the toilet or on the phone with your grandma you should have been out the door the next thing is you're only moving with your dorm so how they do that is they move you onto the boulevard and they open a gate which allows you onto the next section of the boulevard and then they close a gate behind you and they corral you like a herd of cattle. All the while you've got a dog behind you if not two. Rottweiler, German Shepherd, usually German Shepherd. And I will tell you it got so serious that recently on an institution in the Commonwealth of Virginia where I was housed, a dog that was used in the system was unalived by an organization in there. Um, but the dogs will be behind you. And as you're being corralled to the chow hall with the dog behind you, extremely stressful situation, what you'll notice on catwalks above the building where the chow hall is located, there's guards standing with stuff pointed at you like this, ready to hit you with rubber pellets. It's real. Now, once you go into the building and you look up, there's a tower <laughs> inside the chow hall, not a tower tower, but a tower where a CO is separate and barred in where you guys can't get to him. And he's got something pointed at you while you're in line waiting to go eat chow. And while you're eating chow, he's pointed at you with ready to, you know, hit you with a rubber pellet. Um, it is a very stressful, hostile situation. When you go in there, you are brought on to this, this lane, this you know whatever half a hallway if you will where you walk down it and then there's a slot in there yay big and you get your tray out there and it doesn't matter how it's looked how they put the food up there if it's warm cold etc if it's missing something you better eat it that's it that's the prison child hall experience what do you prefer eating at home your, your mother's home cooked meal uh your girl cooking for you your husband whoever it is um, you just go into the kitchen cook or do you want to eat like that for years? I just want to know that if you're in the streets or you're on the way to is that how you want to eat your meals on top of the food's going to be horrible. Oh, and if you think balling out to avoid the child hall is going to do anything, you're just going to be eating a bunch of commissary, which is gas station food, sugar and salt. That's not good for your health either. Stay out of prison. Facts.